As calls for more young Nigerians to venture into entrepreneurship continue to grow amid a dwindling economy, a Kaduna-based shoemaker, Yusuf Mikail, has been telling Trust TV how he felt, how he left his place of birth to start shoemaking business at Badarawa in Kaduna North, local government area of the state. Trust TV's Bella Musa, who visited Mikhail at his shop, reports that before establishing his business to the point of success, Mikhail had to go through challenging moments that almost made him give up, to the extent that he was becoming hopeless. This is a story of Yusuf Mikhail, an indigen of Kaduna State in northwest Nigeria, who is now a successful shoe maker living in Kaduna. Take a look. He defied all odds by leaving his parents, siblings and friends to an unfamiliar terrain, armed with the optimism of becoming a fulfilled shoemaker. I learned shoemaking in my hometown, Kano, when when I relocated to Kaduna and did not have start-up capital, I had to become a cobbler going around the city repairing people's shoes. Then I later returned to shoe making after sourcing for capital. To be honest, I went through difficult times while learning the trade. After closing from school, I would trek to the place where I was learning the trade because we were not getting money. Instead, we paid for apprenticeship and I endured till I learned shoe making. Mikael is one of the shoemakers in Kaduna Metropolis, serving the needs of shoe enthusiasts due to his unique way of making designer shoes. I am thankful to God because I would make three to five hundred pairs of shoes within a month, and I display them here. In a day, I can make fifteen pairs of shoes. He found his way to actualize his dreams as he is now excelling in the shoemaking business. I have recorded a certain level of success because I have bought a piece of land and I assist my parents, siblings and friends and I have also taught about 10 youths how to make shoes and they are excelling. The cost of materials is affecting the business, hence the patronage is low. For instance, we used to buy gum at the rate of 2,000 naira, but now it is sold at the rate of 16,500. The one we once bought at 24,000 is now sold at the rate of 53,000 naira. His dream now is to become an exporter of Nigerian made shoe to other parts of the world. Mikael enjoined youths to see his story of tenacity as an encouragement to venture into entrepreneurship which will help address the burden of unemployment and youth restiveness. Bella Musa, Trust TV is good enough.